Hello, welcome. We are back in Phuket, lovely Phuket. And today we're going to show you around Central Phuket shopping mall or Central Festival shopping mall, which now is two shopping malls joined together. Central Floresta, I believe the other one is. So it's huge now. It's like any major city shopping mall, shopping center. Wait, babe. I say shopping center, but shopping mall people say here. Shopping center, we call it in England. Uh, the good thing about having a motorbike in Phuket, you never pay for parking, do you? On the other side is a home improvement stall across that bridge and into there. And this side, I'll give you a quick tour of the place. This side is the central festival, the older side. But lots to do, lots of shopping. Keep the missus happy, take her shopping. <laughs> Wait, got to put the mask on. Still the usual temperature mask. How long? No cases, babe. Come on. Over two months. Over two months, no local cases. To me, that says there is no virus. Why are we wearing masks? I don't know, but I just follow the rules. I'm a zombie. I'm programmed. Follow the rules. <laughs> okay, usual things phone gadget section that GoPro stuff that's where I got some a lot of my stuff from over there uh, yeah let's just have a look around so this side is the usual clothes ah let's go cinema up here multi-screen cinema up here how much was that, babe? We've been. 80. We went the other day. Uh, how long was we in there? 15 minutes? Yeah. 10 minutes left. I used to like movies. I don't know what's happened. Either I've changed or the movies have changed. Because it was just absolutely awful, terrible. So you have Thai movies and movies in English language. I don't know what's on and I don't really care <laughs> let's have a look I'll tell you the price we're interested in money aren't we okay well I just double checked because I thought that's cheap and it's usually that's the normal price 200 baht deluxe 220 premium sofa 500 so 200 baht it's still it's not too bad five pounds have a look around here yeah people some people maybe think oh Phuket it's an island it doesn't have the you know the luxuries of major cities but Phuket Island I read is the size of Singapore And there's this shopping mall, shopping centre, shopping mall. And there's another big one, Jongsalin in Patong. And there's a few others, not so big. So you've got two huge ones. Plenty of choice. So we've got a, a nice uh, bike shop over there. Food, stuff around the top, clothes. So, keep the lady happy, keep your girlfriend happy, bring her shopping. Prices, some prices cheap, mostly very similar to the rest of the world. And if you're missing home in the UK, you've got boots up there, keep you happy. Okay, well while we're here, we took a little 
snack break. You can get food in here, but you will pay more than out on the street place, but still nice. Beef, some broccoli, some chicken wings, and Maybell's favorite. <laughs> what do you yeah, have? Sir. Papaya salad. I'll put, I'll, put, I'll put the price on the street. You happy now, babe? You happy? Maybell's happy when she has papaya salad. Okay, that's lunch done. That was 425 bucks. Double price, but... I think I've been here too long because that's expensive. That's about 10 pounds. I've been here too long, so I think that's expensive now, but <laughs> in the UK, 10 pounds for two people to have lunch. It's cheap. Okay, we have one other mission on this side. <clears throat> I need to get something because my old supplier must have been cut off by coronavirus. <laughs> so we have to go downstairs and get that. And then we'll go to the other side and show the new spot, which is designer heaven. Hey babe. Yeah. The expensive nice. side. But nice, yeah, very nice. Some good stuff. Cakes. Hey. And there's a fancy I would say top of the range food food hall food supermarket anyone missing the bread lots of bread for all the uh, bread lovers I'm not a a any bread until we just stayed at the Haven <laughs> look egg in the bread yeah so this is like your Marks and Spencer or something from the UK Marks and Spencer was that nice shopping food shopping place and i can find what i'm looking for in here <coughs> and yes i'm still training hard still training very hard i had my two training sessions today but i still have to have my treat my cup of tea and biscuit and I find a new supplier here. <laughs> Where are they? Oh yes, they're here. <laughs> My hobnob biscuits. If you know, you know. Maybell is now addicted. Babe, where are your biscuits? And look, we've got all sorts in here dangerous but I feel when you're training hard and you're putting out the junk food I'm eating all healthy food you've got to have some sort of treat otherwise you know what's the point point? and if you deprive yourself too much you might crack as for everything else in here you can get avocados and stuff like that which is hard to find other places but I'll be honest this place is pretty damn expensive I wouldn't be doing my shopping my regular shopping here but if you've got the wonga if you have the cash it's true it is the uh, top of the range food supermarket I won't even show the steaks. The steaks are ridiculously expensive. Okay, let's go and pay for the biscuits and get the hell out of here. We're always spending it's more from money. Korat. It's from Korat. Maybe it's from Korat. The, the place where we just eat was was that Korat yeah, shop? The noodles from Korat. Noodles from Korat. From Korat. Yeah. Okay, let's pay for these. I'll tell you the price in a minute. Not cheap, but worth it. So that was 158 baht for two packets of biscuits. That is £3.80. <clears throat> a big C would be cheaper. What's this? Breadsticks or something. Some dessert. Oh look. Got some sort of sauce in the middle. Not for me. I'll just have a coffee, babe. Huh? I'll just have a coffee. 
Here, go here, here, over here. Oop. We'll get a coffee and go over to the new side, yeah? Okay. Okay, well, the coffee was 90 baht and green tea, 100 baht. Let's have a look around. This is like, looks like one of the new areas. I'm just going to slate one of the big companies here now. <laughs> Starbucks. I said this in another video, but somehow the video was on fast feet are there Starbucks over there Starbucks here is not good coffee it's more like a big hot cup of milk and it's so expensive the last one I had one in Patong when I did the beach cleanup and it was 175 baht since then I'm like I will never drink Starbucks in Thailand again it's just a rip-off and it's so big it's cups huge but it's just all warm milk Okay, so there's a few little bar places out here. Maybe uh, if you bring a girlfriend, you can say, look, I'll wait out here for you. <laughs> Go shopping, babe. Enjoy. Hey, babe. Huh? I said if any guys bring their girlfriends, they could say, look, I'll wait out here for you. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so across the road is the new part let's go over there central floresta i think i think it's called oh there's parking out here as well apparently there's all sorts of parking underground parking and everything over the road not sure if you have to pay if you have a car never I've never parked a car here only motorbikes okay look i'm going over to the new side floresta Oh look, Aquaria, apparently I've read there's a adventure, some sort of thing for kids over there, theme park or something like that, but we've been over twice now, never seen anything like that. Love mom, love mom, come on baby you want a selfie in there, hey? <laughs> So this is designer heaven for the people with the ka-ching-ching -ching. If you want to spend some money, come to this side We're just having a look aren't we? Babe? We're just having a look <laughs> Window shopping No Window shopping we spend some Come on <laughs> We're trying to budget ourselves here Look, another Starbucks rip-off. There's still a place here. Amazon coffee or another, that one we just went to. We've got Adidas shop over there. We've got some proper designer brands on this side. Let's go have a quick look around then. Window shopping, yeah? <laughs> you want some shorts? Okay. Maybe I want some shorts. You got some new shorts, but <laughs> said so they don't sit properly. I don't know if I can see what you mean. They don't sit properly, don't hang right. Could it? Beautiful shop. Sad as well, you know. Should be more, should be packed. This one, the other side used to be very packed all the time. And this side would be when they're flipping open to tourists. Van shop, Calvin Klein. Oh, this is proper design. 50% off. off. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy moly. You know, I try and switch my old Richie off because I used to spend stupid money on designer clothes. 
But when it's 50% off, it's hard not to. But you don't need it, do you? You don't need designer clothes. Uh, maybe I was leopard print crazy lately. But it looks good. It looks good on you, babe. Try it. Is it 50% off? Hope so. <laughs> Holy moly, that's what we like to see. Up to 70% off. That's the sign we like. 70% off. Hell yes. Probably nothing is 70, just one item is 70% off. <laughs> Baseball cap shop. Anybody into the baseball caps? Lots of people are. So, Maybelle got something. <laughs> show, show this. Sexy leggings, trousers. Good one. <laughs> 500 baht. This cap. That's about 12 pounds. Not sure if that's a good price. Seems a good price, yeah. It was 1,300 Let's go down here, there's a shop down here that sells awesome t-shirts. I might buy one. Sod it. Look, parking out there. I like this part here because you got like designer, different designer labels all next to each other. Makeup for the ladies. There's one brand I've seen here, I'm not too sure what it is. I don't... That's Armani. There's another one. And it's like really nice, but it's so expensive. But one of the t-shirts, I might just... I might just buy it. Sod it. Hey, what's up? With the collar? Yeah, I don't mind, but... I like t-shirts, with the diesel, I like diesel stuff. It's 50% off, so that'd be 1,250. Just worked it out, that'd be 30 pounds. So yeah, that's about right. In, in the UK, that would be definitely 60 pounds. No, no, that's good price. That would be like 60, 70, maybe more, some places. So 50% off. the Louis Vuitton probably not even got prices on this is the proper expense beautiful bags beautiful man bags I do like my man bags not this much nice sunglasses sorry cup oh, nice sunglasses I'm not even going to ask the price. <laughs> Can't take a break. So, how many times have you been here, babe? It's about the third time, and we just never came down to this floor for some reason. So this is where the entrance to the theme park is for the for the children. I just asked the price. I think it's around five to six hundred baht. There's a food place down here. About five to six hundred baht for a child. And one thousand something for adults, so it's not cheap. And this looks like kids' clothes down here as well. This is this looks like the theme park over here. Yeah, that's the entrance to the theme park. Yeah, it's not open at the minute because, well, not enough people, I suppose. Oh, it's probably closed actually due to COVID. Don't want the kids running around next to each other. Yeah, so that's the theme park that's in here. And this is all 
kids floor what's that babe entrance. yeah that's the entrance yeah looks quite good for your kids oh something else here huh? aquarium oh, there's an aquarium here it's the extension of service closure from 5th of june onwards or until further notice so it's still closed because of the covid that's the theme park and the aqu aquarium now this is says phuket's biggest aquarium so we could check that out one day babe hey yes but well, this is open happy kids club for the kids look Still somewhere to bring them. Happy Kids Club, 150 baht for one hour. That's not bad. And then food place here, Japanese food buffet by the looks of it. Japanese exploring sensation. Yeah, Japanese food buffet, big. Yeah, so there you go. On the, this is the very ground floor of the new side of central Phuket Floresta. This is on the very ground floor because we've been here twice and we never even came. We didn't even notice this part. Oh, look, floating market. That's the floating market thing. So you can get your food here, look, and then. That's nice. Seen that, babe? Well, we've never been to this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, lots of different food places. Pretty good. That's floating market. Big as well. Yeah, that's, that's what. Floating market. Yeah, that's what it says. Floating market. Yeah, loads of food places here, look. There's a garden bit. Why didn't you bring me here before? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's confess here. We went to Central Festival about three or four times before we even came to this site. We didn't realize it was open. And then now, this is the first time we've come down here. Loads of food places. Oh look, there's another there's another food hall down there look babe. Another There's another food hall it's called Central Food Hall. Same supermarket like the the other side but bigger. A lot bigger. And all your international fancy stuff. Looks good. Looks nice. Expensive. If you've got the longer, going on, on holiday, man. Oh, look at all that. Ribs, chicken, pork. <laughs> My bell's getting excited. Oh, look, protein shakes. The shack, whey protein. Wow, loads of stuff over here. Very nice. Very Why we never know this place? Yeah, look. Cheese. Mm. Well, yeah, I think I'll get some burgers. Oh, the mole, that's that. Uh, Did a fake one? Spanish. Well, most of Spain have this cured ham. It's not bacon. For the wine lovers. And the beer lovers. Look at that. 
our garden everything Belgium beer all the beers you can think of wine yeah, this is some supermarket this is champagne got it all they got it all so you could get all the different types of beers in here could have just come straight to this side so this is like the themed floating marketplace Looks good. You can buy your stuff from here and then sit down next to there. This is good. We didn't realize you can just pull into this side, the Floresta shopping mall side, park on this side underground and come straight into here that's probably the best way to visit this side babe we'll do that next time we always park at the old place because that's what we used to do that's a good statue like it they what we believe how Diane look like in the past huh? Diane giant no not Diane huh? Giant. No, no, no like warrior. Oh, I'm not sure Samurai. Fighter. Samurai. Oh, okay. <laughs> King, God. That the God. The giant. Giant, yeah. All oh, right, yeah, giant with one, two, three, six arms. <laughs> And Maybell left the biscuits in the first shop. So we have to try and get them back. Let's go see. Okay, that's it. That was a tour of the biggest shopping mall. I think this must be the biggest. Jong Salin Shopping Centre. I think this is bigger now, isn't it? So yeah. When they eventually let people back into Phuket, you know where to come for your shopping. This place. You can have a day out here. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.